الحمد لله هي لايف Shalom. First off, we're going to start up by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadash. It's all praises to the world, cause God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem, in the name, Yahweh Shai, be the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say do honors to the elders and apostles of Great Mount Stone, peace and mercy to the old like preachers, word and truth and sincerity. And about the Tazabah, the Great Mill still in Arizona camp, or will with another video to edify it. I wanted to hit on this article, man. On this, uh, not article, but this video, right? As you see, it says, breaking news. Israel launches massive new weapon on Hezbollah. Could this be a small nuke? Question mark. And it likely is. It, it very much likely is. You see at the beginning of the video, You get the flash of light, then you got the shock wave, then you get the bang, and then you get the uh, what looks like a mushroom cloud popping up out of it. So, yeah, very likely that they hit off with a small nuke. And we're in those days where they're going to be doing these things. And this is the second thing, second time in a row we're getting reports of something like a mushroom cloud popping up. And, and possible nukes being used, right? And <laughs> these people don't, the American citizen has their mind everywhere else. And it, hey, they're going to get a draft off of this, man. The, the heightened tensions, a draft is coming. All these little niggas that just signed up into the military, they're going to go to war, right? They They even sat there not too long ago. They put a, a, a bunch of fucking uh, uh, people in the military and stationed them in Alaska on a high alert combat readiness to uh, survey what's going on in Russia. So this shit is really speeding up, right? And through the spirit, the elders and apostles spoke about these things. To get us ready and consider these things. Now you got to know that there's been men given the understanding and wisdom enough to see these things before they happen to give a, a proper warning. Now when you go to Wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter. And, uh, and uh, I'll start at 15. The Most High had granted me to speak as I would and to conceive as is meet for things. Uh, that are given me. Uh, because it is he that leadeth unto wisdom and direct directed the wise. It says for in his hand are both we and our words all all wisdom also in knowledge and workmanship. Right. The Lord is the one that's controlling this whole show. And we understand that we understand that. Now, even within the Lord controlling the show, listen to this. It says, for he giveth me certain knowledge of things that are, namely to know how the world was made in the operation of the elements, the beginning, ending, and mist of the times, and the alteration of the turning of the sun, and the change of seasons. Right? So Solomon was given all this wisdom. He was given the ability to understand prophecy. What well, the Lord in these last days woke us up and gave us the ability to understand prophecy as well. Revelation 19 and 10. It says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant. And I, I brethren that had the testimony of Yahweh Shai worship the most high. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And right now this prophecy is are speaking louder than ever, man. Like it says in Habakkuk, the second chapter. Habakkuk 2 and uh, um, 3. It says, okay, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. You see? These things are coming to pass. 
The Lord is doing his thing. Right? It's not tearing. The, the vision is speaking. These prophecies are speaking. There's a, a all the talk that people were saying, are oh, we crazy? We're, we're seed theorists. All that talk is gone now. Right? Everybody's saying, oh, the government's never going to do that. Now they're considering the government's going to sit here and send in troops like brothers and going through the prophecies and showing you like when it says a leper is going to watch over your city. A lot of people said for a long time, oh, no, America's never going to be destroyed. But now they got to consider it with reports like this. Right. And then you have the, the one that happened in, in, in Russia with the Ukrainians hitting that Russian uh, um, uh, weapons depot. Right, this this that 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 cold war war is really a hot war right now. Right? It's really a hot war. But now they're starting to use these, you know, small nukes, and it's gonna turn into big nukes. It's gonna turn into the big guns because that's what has to happen. This place has to be destroyed. Revelation 16 and And uh, I'll start at 19. It says, The great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon came into remembrance before Mosai. And, and, and great Babylon is talking about America. This place is coming to remembrance. The scriptures talk about her sins have reached unto heaven. Well, you see all these little skirmishes, and, and, and then they're sitting there dropping mushroom clouds in, in multiple nations. Now you got to understand. That's just a build up to when the Lord blows up America. It says, And great Babylon came into remembrance before the Most High to give her unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. And when those 200 million missiles start flying, all right, and we'll get that scripture. When those start flying, that's the cup of the fierceness of the Most High's wrath. It says, And every island fled away, and the mountains were it says in the mountains were not found and there fell upon men a great hell out of heaven talk about those missiles now when you look it up right the sarmat right r rs28 sarmat it says the rs28 sarmat after the sarmatians sarmatians uh nato reporting name Often collo colloquially referred to as Satan II by media outlets is a three-stage Russian silo-based liquid-fueled HGV capable and uh, FOBS capable super heavy intercontinental ballistic missile produced by the Makaviv Rocket Design Bureau, right? Now, when you get into the specs of that SARMAT or Satan II missile, it says it's 208.1 pound, uh, one, one tons. You can look up that weight, right? 208.1 tons. It's and seventy-seven. Very seven is a completion. Two point uh, 0.259 pounds. Right? The Lord is getting ready to seal this place up. And this is why Revelation 16, when we keep reading, it says, And there fell upon men great hell out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. Those are those talents. Those warheads. Right? And men blaspheme the Most High because of the plague of the hell, and for the uh, plague thereof was exceeding great. <clears throat> so, the Lord has something special for this place, man. And the Lord said this. It says, um, Let me get this all... Uh,
Luke 12 and 40, 49, it says, I come to send fire on earth. And those missiles create fire, man. Scriptures talk about a fire not blown. But if all these nations are starting to pop off small ones, it's only a matter of time to where, like the scriptures say, that, uh, uh, Right, Gog and Magog's gonna think an evil thought and come into the land of unwalled villages. That's talking about America. Right? It's only a matter of time to one of those pop off here, man. I come to send fire on earth, and what will I if it be already kindled? Because this is the plan of the Lord. Is to use the weapons. Uh, Jeremiah 50, uh, Isaiah 13 actually says, uh, Isaiah 13 and 4 it says, the, the noise of a multitude of the mountains like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together, Yahweh of hosts, mustered the host to the battle, right? The Lord's drawing his armies out, getting them ready, putting the hooks in Russia's jaw, putting the hooks in these other nations' jaw, and tell them, nah, y'all gonna have to get up and fight. All this buddy buddy stuff that's gotta go. The Lord is the one in control. It says they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even Yahweh and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. And what are the weapons of the Lord? The Lord said, Wait, he created the smith to blow the coals in the fire, to bring forth his instrument, his destroying instrument. Well, the Lord controlled the scientists, the Lord controls the elements, he gave them into their hand and gave them a knowledge of how to split the atom. To bring them to this point where the Lord is going to destroy them. It says, How ye, for the day of Yahweh is at hand, it is, shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. There shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. They shall be afraid, pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another, their faces, at, their faces shall be as flames. Right? When you hear the sound of the missiles, those. Those the sound of those sirens going off. This is not a test. Nuclear missile incoming. Right? A lot of people they're gonna realize, damn, why didn't I pray more? Some of them are gonna try to pray at the last minute and the Lord ain't gonna hear them. It says, Behold, the day of Yahweh come and cruel, but with wrath and fierce anger to the lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinner thereof out of it. I'm going to jump down so we can get to the point of this one. Verse 11, it says, And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. That America way, we got the best army. Nobody's going to beat us. Well, the Lord is going to use all the nations to beat you. Like the scriptures say, who shall make war with the beast? Well, even the beast is going to attack the horde. America, America's through. And this is just the beginning. They're, they're, now they're starting to use these little tactical and pocket news, you know, in, in, in respects to how much land they can actually destroy. They're using these small ones, right? Sending messages. Let them know, hey, don't make me do this. I'll hit the real button, right? This is what's happening all throughout the world right now, man. And it's going to intensify. We're, we're in the days of great evil and destruction. We're in the days of war, real war, right? None of this play, play, we do this, we move this here. No, they're, they're going to start using the real shit, right? So all we got to do is keep doing what the Lord said. He's going to take everything, take care of everything else because he's getting ready to drop these talents. Right? And it's, the Lord is about to use this revelation. Uh, nine and 16, it says, and the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. And I heard the number of them, 200 million. 200 million of the missiles with those huge warheads, 
I gotta fly. Right? And and, and uh, a vast majority of them are gonna hit this place, America. It says, and thus I saw the horses in the vision, and then the side of them have a breastplate of fire, and of Janet, and of brimstone, and the heads of the horses, whereas the heads of lions, talking about, right, those nuclear warheads, right, those cone cylinder shaped nuclear warheads, because a lion, their power is in their teeth. Well, the power of these missiles are in those warheads, right? It says, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. Those missiles. And these, it says, by these three was the third part of men killed by fire and by smoke and by brimstone, which issued out of the mouths, out of their mouths, for their power is in their mouths and in their tails. Talking about the propulsion system, that's the end of tails part. For their tails were like unto serpents in the head and, and, and had heads, and with them they do hurt. All right, we're in a time where, where, where they're really starting to use real deal, holy field, <laughs> spirit of the Lord, destroying weapons, man. Spirit, the spirit of the Lord is in those weapons. And they're being used to really destroy. We're in a time where they're about to really start using these things. Shalom.